Hello and welcome to the C++11 Beginner Tutorials by gamer to creator I'm Chris. In the next few videos, we're going to do a very light introduction to the STL. I'm going to give you guys an introduction to classes such as String and Vector. And I'm going to give you an example of how to use these things, some of the common functionality that they provide. And I'm also, in this video, going to show you how to get more information. Because if I were to try to cover all of the STL, we would be here for weeks. And the video format just isn't really a good fit for a deep discussion on the STL. But books are a great medium for this. And I'm going to suggest that you buy a book on the standard template library. Or even a book, most books on C++ will cover the standard template library. But since we're talking about C++ in these videos, you should probably get a modern book. Now there are not very many of them out there that cover C++ 11. Now I'm going to show you one that does. This book right here is a very good example. This was one of the first C++11 books published. I'm holding a copy of it in my hand right now. It claims to be a tutorial and a reference. And it is a pretty good reference. I didn't read it like a tutorial, so I can't speak to that. But it does have a lot of information. It covers the STL, C++11, and it is a good book. As you can see, it got 4.6 out of 5 stars. That's good for anything on Amazon. So you might want to think about picking this up. If you want a book that covers C++ 11 standard template library. Now another book on the horizon. It's not out yet. is this one. As you can see it says it's C++ 11 and this one is actually written by Bajan Strostrup. He created C++. He's also written many books on C++ and they've all been pretty darn good. This one according to Amazon is due May 20th 2013 so later this year. Now as far as books go they make pretty good references, but also the internet is pretty darn handy for that as well. And there are some sites that are just completely dedicated to being a C++ reference. This is a good one. I've been here many a times. You got your input output, containers, and then we have, um, there's vector, but I want to find string. Here we go. Here's string. So, as you can see, since it's focused on C++, uh, the searches are pretty darn accurate. And here we are looking at our STD string class. Now you can see not only the type defs that are inside of it, which are of less importance, but the member functions. This is the interface. This is the stuff that you can use, the existing code that you can use to get some work done. You can get the size, return the length of the string. Length does pretty much exactly the same thing. You can get the capacity of the buffer. You can clear the string. You can ch test if it's empty. You can even use the array index operator to get a character out of the string. Front, back, erase. 
replace portions of the string and you can see that all of these are clickable um, let's find clear I'm gonna pick on clear and here's clear you can click on it and you can see there's these two tabs for C++ 98 C++ 11 there's not much difference here except for this keyword which we're not going to cover and you can see that string clear erases the constant tense of the string which becomes an empty string with a length of zero characters so that's pretty descriptive and this website provides a pretty good reference and it even has an example down here and some more information and also some related stuff and over here we've got all this stuff these are all the string uh, methods they call member functions and so there you go this is a pretty good place c++.com and there's another one called cpp reference I believe yes it's basically the same thing but it's designed a little bit differently and it looks different but as you can see it has all the basic stuff we have our string we have the different types of strings and we have all of the information these are all the methods and then here's clear so I would suggest putting both of these in your favorites and then uh, if one doesn't quite explain something good enough you can check the other one finally I'm going to show you msn.com msdn.com this is Microsoft Developer Network and on it they have all of their documentation as you see we can zero down here on what we're talking about we can pick a language about web cloud games and we'll see C++ on here so we'll just type in a search we'll do um, basic string and here we go the basic string class is the STD string class and then here we'll have the Visual Studio version that we're talking about because it has changed over the years and you'll want to put that up to Visual Studio 2012 always make sure that this is on the right version it'll be here on almost every page so now that we have it on the right version we can go through and we can look at all the interesting stuff inside of it and as you can see this site is pretty much equivalent to the other sites that we just looked at as they have basic uh, explanations um, and here we are here's basic string clear again I find the MSDN though will often settle with very short sentences that really don't they stop short of deeply explaining something um, so I don't really like MSDN quite that much but it can be useful for things such as DirectX which aren't part of the STL and therefore won't be covered by C++ reference but they would be covered on MSDN So with that, now that I've showed you where you guys can get some more information, books and websites, um, we're going to go ahead and start getting into some of the classes in the STL.